Good afternoon, YouTube. I did a video of, uh, I'm in downtown Dayton by the Goodwill Easter Seals once again. I did a video of this a couple days ago about this traffic light camera scam and what a waste of money it is. And here's a light just turned red from the south main side. And there's hardly anybody at Goodwill. One person passing through the light. And I'm even surprised they passed through there. You are, you have all this traffic right here that is held up because of this stupid traffic light for the last, uh, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds. This light is money that was horribly spent for something that was not needed. Looks like St. Clair Community College is doing a few, a few classes here, I guess, from that sign, but... This is money that's horribly spent right here. And Main Street is a pretty highly traveled street, you know. That video, excuse the noise from that, excuse the noise from that siren. They're going to Miami Valley Hospital as that's right up the street. I've showed this area before, but, but I just want to drive this point home, people. This light is money that was horribly spent. I, I've already proven at rush hour, at rush hour, there wasn't anybody using this light. Let's see. This light just turned green. That's 142 in the video. Let's see how long this, this stays green on this side and how much time is wasted at this light. I'm gonna time this a couple times, but see how all the traffic has to come to a standstill because of the stupidity? of this light all because of this thing for goodwill again i am not against goodwill for it for about 25 seconds the light stood green for about 25 seconds so this proves to you something people nobody there is absolutely no excuse why they needed a traffic light here None. If you think you can justify this, go ahead. As I said, here's a couple of the other businesses that apparently have moved into Goodwill's campus. Again, I'm not against Goodwill. They're a very good organization. They help out a lot of poor people, but they did not deserve a traffic light here. St. Clair's got a few classes here and then Consumer Credit Council and Service. So, so if you think this is a, see, here we got the light is green again. Waste of money, people. If I had a banana peel with me, I'd give this traffic light a banana peel. But I don't have one with me today. So yeah. So they built a traffic light that was not needed. And as I said the other day, they repaved this street Lincoln, which is very seldom used for just a handful of workers at Goodwill. This is this was not enough to justify a repaving of that. And uh, and the traffic light. And you know, people, what's also funny is I find it funny for the last five or six years, South Main was in dire need of being repaid to being white and then all of a sudden when Goodwill moves in then when the fairgrounds is moving they just so happen to find the money to actually do this people now I don't know if you people what you people think but to me that just absolutely smells this should have been widened and repaved years ago here's a look on the other side of the the traffic light Heck, I was able to cross South Main without any problem. And South Main is a pretty highly traveled street. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be crossing this street through the week. This is a very highly traveled street. And people just absolutely fly down this right, right here. Here we go again. Traffic light was red. People were waiting. So I'm going to let this run for another minute or two probably. Then I'm going to end this one. 
So yeah, you people see what kind of scam this this traffic light <clears throat> really is here. And if you justify this spending, I would love to know why. Because the money that the taxpayers are putting out for this light and the money that we put out for that repavement of Lincoln was just money that was just completely wasted. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah, the overall, they haven't dug this side of South Main. This was in pretty bad shape for a lot of years. Here's the light red right here on that side. Nobody coming from Lincoln. So why was this traffic light needed? Money that was horribly spent. But anyway, there's actually one person actually coming out of the Goodwill parking lot. I'm surprised I did not see any cars there. But yeah, you can see how all these cars, they had to come to a standstill because of that light. Yeah, there's one person right here on Lincoln. This is only the second person during this video that's even came to this light. And this is money that was just horribly spent on this. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up on this one. But that's going to be it for this one, YouTube, from this traffic light scam, the Goodwill Easter Seals traffic light scam.